Find out why I wake up at 3.30 in the morning. Well, not every morning, but tune in to find out. Welcome to the Mark Patterson Show. I went from being a solo agent to selling over a billion dollars in real estate in just six years. I flip houses, I run a portfolio of investment properties, and I help people like you create lifestyles they couldn't even imagine living. I'm going to show you how to make riches through real estate. Welcome to the Mark Patterson Show. A question a lot of people ask others is, what is your why? Why are you working so hard? Why are you doing what you're doing? What is the reason you're doing all of this? And, uh, you know, I like to think that I have a huge why. Um, one of my biggest things is fear and doubt and judgment from others. You know, I'm sure a ton of people act like it. You know, you don't care what other people think. Uh, it doesn't matter what other people, you know, say about you. But in my opinion, for me, I always want to be viewed and uh, talked about in a positive way. And my why truly is when people doubt me or tell me something is impossible, uh, that's what fuels me. I've had numerous occasions where I've shown up to conferences, uh, you know, early on in my career, maybe I just launched my real estate team and people ask me if I even had a real estate team, more like mocking me. Uh, you know, I've had other situations. My oldest brother told me when I got my real estate license, uh, that I would never be successful. And I think about that daily. Uh, I had one time, my first broker that I ever worked for, I'm sitting in this big office meeting. It's pretty intimidating when you're around all these quote unquote rockstar real estate agents. Now, looking back, uh, no offense to them, but they're nowhere near what I, you know, strive to become. And when you're brand new, you're kind of intimidated by these real estate agents that have been doing this 20, 30 years. And I remember this broker, I asked a question in front of everyone and he said, don't ask stupid questions. And that like made my stomach and my heart just hurt. And I was like, shit, am I stupid? Is that why, I'm, you know, do I not deserve to be in these rooms? Uh, sure enough, uh, also a couple of the things from that broker story, I would ask questions about something on the offer and I'd get yelled at. And I was like thinking, I'm like, what the heck? And it comes down to, there was no training. Uh, and the other thing was, is that I find that maybe he just didn't have the answers. And so his result of like defending was just being rude so that I wouldn't ask him. Uh, but funny thing is that office is closed. And I mean, that's not funny, but it is. I drive by that office and I think about it quite often. I'm like, ha, huh, I'm still going and you guys are closed up. Uh, and you know, my brother being the one that you know, tell me it wasn't going to be successful coming from your older brother who you kind of look for approval from that hurt. Uh, and it really just gives me the strive of like why I do this. A way that I really, you know, focus on my goals is I break them down. I, I truly think that you need to revisit your goals daily. So on my calendar, I have every single morning, uh, probably around 5 a.m. I go in and I just say like, these are my goals for the day. This is what I want to accomplish in the year. This is how much I want in my, you know, in my checking account. This is how much I want in my savings account. This is what I want in this stock account. This is how much I want in this stock account. Uh, kind of go through each little category and set my goals and track where I'm at daily. So then I keep that focus. If, if you don't revisit your goals on a daily basis, you're going to lose sight of where you're going. And also you're going to lose sight of the why you're going there. I, uh, I always try to look for my friends for inspiration. Surround yourself with people that you don't necessarily have to have a why. You just want to build yourselves up together. Surround yourself with people that want to win. Surround yourself with people that want you to win. Uh, people that share. People that don't mind helping you become successful. There are a lot of successful people out there that hold all their secrets to their heart. But trust me, you will find a good, like an amazing tribe that's going to share everything with you. Try to find people that are on your journey closer to you in style. Meaning if you meet a real estate agent that's been in the business for 20 years and they're your mentor, it's going to be a lot more difficult than if you find a mentor that's maybe been in the business five years. You know, I've been in the business six years. I love helping new agents because I was only there a few years ago. Now I remember shadowing agents that were in the business, like I said, 30 years and their method of business is just completely different. Their phone rings because they have past clients. Shit. I didn't know one person in San Diego. My phone was not ringing. So how the heck do I make my phone ring? It was really hard for them to teach me that because they hadn't done that in so many years. So try to surround yourself with people that will help you achieve your goals and, and go after someone who's going to be, you know, newer in the business, whether you're in real estate or if you're in tech or whatever situation you're in, 
Um, find those people that are, that care about you and that want to help you out. And that's, that's my why right now is helping others. There's nothing more amazing than seeing all my real estate agents on my team buying houses, buying investment properties, remodeling houses, flipping homes. I mean, one of my agents just made $300,000 on a flip. I mean, that's more than he made. He was waiting tables at Cheesecake Factory three years ago. So to see how much he's grown and, and just everything he's taken from me and learning, that's my why. Helping others, because through them, when you help others and you give back, it comes back tenfold. So my advice always give, 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 and trust me, it's going to come back. It's kind of like Gary Vee talks about jab, 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 right hook. You're not going to ask for the sale right away. You're not going to ask for something. Don't be the ask cold that doesn't provide anything. Provide to your people around you always. And then ask for that one favor. Everyone's going to do it for you. If you're someone who's constantly asking others to do stuff for you, you know, hey, help me move. Hey, will you do this? Hey, can I borrow a thousand dollars? But you're not providing any value to them those friends are going to go away and vice versa. If you've got friends coming at you that way, or if you have family members coming at you that way, I'm going to tell you to be the first person to eliminate them from your lives. Uh, You know, if, if you've got those people that are draining you, they're going to take energy from you. It does truly impact how successful you'll be. They always talk about you are your five closest friends. One of my favorite sayings is your network is your net worth. So look at who you're surrounding yourself with. If they don't have the strong why or if they don't have the strong work motivation, if they're smoking pot and hanging out and not doing any work and they're just going out to party, doing all that good stuff on a regular basis, check in, see where they're at. Waking up with a hangover four days a week isn't going to make you successful. So if you need to kind of take a little reality check, one of the best things you can say without being offensive is just say, hey, I'm taking some time for myself. You know, I'm, you know, and if anyone cares and knocks you about self improvement, there you go. That's your, that's your truth right there. It tells you if your friends don't care about your self improvement, then they're not really your friends. Today's episode is brought to you by MarkPattisonRealEstate.com, my six week master real estate team course. My team was the first team ever to sell over 500 homes in a year in San Diego County. And I'm launching a course and you can learn the fundamentals of how to launch a successful real estate team and implement proven systems and strategies that get your results fast. For more information, visit MarkPattisonRealEstate.com. Once again, that's MarkPattisonRealEstate.com. Biggest thing that I can advise you on with figuring out your why, like getting really deep into it, journal. What makes you tick? Is it money? If it's not money, is it helping others? If it's not helping others, is it maybe you know, paying off debt? A lot of the fear and anxiety in life comes from money. If you have money and you have all your reserves in place, your why becomes easier because you can focus on that. Your mind is freer. If you sit there and you're just stressed about money constantly, your freaking mind races in circles. Get that cleared up. Get six months reserves. Stop spending money on stupid shit. When you save and you've got that, your mind can do amazing things. It allows you to think. It allows you to take chances. It allows you to have risk because you're not so nervous about your rent payment or if, you know, your, your mortgage payment, or if your wife loses their job or your spouse, you know, you're not necessarily concerned about that because you've got the reserves. You're totally fine. One of the things, uh, one of my agents, when COVID hit a year and a half ago, probably five years ago now, feels like it. Uh, one of my agents, I asked him, I said, Hey, are you nervous? You know, about money, about finances, situation. And he's like, no. And I said, you know, how many reserves do you have? He goes, well, I've been listening to you and I I truly have been saving everything for the last two years. And I have over two years reserves, liquid, ready for me to just pay my rent. He actually has a mortgage because he bought a house. Uh, Pay my mortgage, pay my bills, food, whatever I need for the necessities for two years, I will be fine. So what that allowed him to do when everyone was freaking out about COVID in March of 2020, my team absolutely crushed it and had our best month ever. We went back and just focused on the clients that we maybe couldn't get offers accepted because they didn't have enough money, didn't have enough down payment. We were able to focus on that and not focus on the world and the news and the situation. Obviously, we knew it was a very big issue. We weren't downplaying COVID. We were just saying, shit, 
We cannot let this explode our team. We got to make sure we focus, put our heads down. And that month we sold 56 houses. Now, mind you, no one has ever sold 500 homes in San Diego County in one year before. And so coming through March, selling 56 homes, and mind you, that hasn't been our best month year to date. We've done quite more. We've almost done, I think I did 109 in June. So that was our best month. But looking back on it, there are teams that didn't sell anything in March because they were sitting there freaking out about their bills. If you get everything set up and you get it all going, you get your finances in order, you don't have to freak out about anything. Life becomes so stress-free. So having a stress-free life is one of my whys. Um, that's why I do what I do. I don't have to worry about things. I can go on vacation whenever I want. I can go on a one-week vacation or a three-month vacation and my business is still gonna run. If you have that you know, idea of wanting to get there, it's baby steps. I always say, don't compare yourself to others. Your why is not my why. My f- six year is not your year one. So don't compare your year one to where I'm at in six years. If you're in it for 10 years, don't compare your year 10 to my year six. We're all on a different journey. I think that society and just like social media in general makes you think that these people are better than others. I mean, even this podcast, who am I to have a podcast? That's what I think. But shit, I'm one of the top agents in San Diego County. I'm one of the top agents in Southern California. I've got something good to share. I want to help others. So I've got to get out of the mindset of no one's better than anyone. People all around you have so much value to give you and listen to that value. And the more that you listen to people that provide you value, the easier it is for you to achieve the greatness and what you deserve to get. And the funny thing is, there's absolutely nothing special about me. There's nothing special about any of the guys on Million Dollar Listing or Fixer Upper or any of those TV shows. It's just that they have the grit and the grind and that we didn't give up. Real estate's freaking tough. No matter which industry you're in, there's a lot of real estate agents out there to get after it. So, you know, I can't speak to tech. I can't speak to, you know, being an architect or the different situations, scenarios and stress. But I do know that I don't get paid unless I sell houses. And I know that if I don't find the next deal, whether it's a flip or whether it's an investment that I'm going to be doing, if it flops, I mean, that could be a lot of money that I lose. But if I don't have the money for reserves and the mindset to think bigger, I'm missing out on big things. There's so many people that I talk to. Um, My brokerage, you have to pay to be there. And people look at that and they say, well, it's a lot of money to pay to be at this brokerage. But they don't realize that the returns and the people you get connected to and the coaching and the network is so much bigger than that. So they're, they're thinking simple mindset. Don't have a simple mindset. Look at others around you. If someone's doing something great and there's a lot of great people there, I would follow them, copy them. You like someone's podcast, you like the format, you like someone's YouTube, you like how it looks, copy them. If the person you're copying cares that much, they're not the right person to even mentor or follow in the first place or be a mentee of or follow in the first place. Look at them as like, hey, I would look at it as flattery. And anyone who's out there doing it, they've got to be so in, like innovative and coming out with new stuff all the time that they shouldn't care that you're copying their stuff. Obviously, don't copy it to a T. Come up with your own content, come up with your idea, but for the look or for maybe some topics, get some inspiration from others. Instagram people, DM them, say, hey, what would you think about this? What do you think about having you know these three topics for my first podcast? You know, Hire a coach. All these different things are gonna keep you consistent to where you can keep that deep down why um, and keep it alive. And your why is going to change. But for me, what's been consistent on my why is that when others doubt me, I don't get bad. I do a little bit in the beginning, but then I just use it for fuel. And it really does make me excited to look and drive past my old real estate office. It makes me excited to buy my niece and nephew, my uh, brother's two kids, as many presents as they want. I, you know, I took them back to school shopping and the back to school shopping included uh, going to LA, going to Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga, Chanel, anything they wanted. 
and they're 13 and 17 years old. For me, I don't mind spoiling them. They're my niece and nephew and they're the freaking nicest kids in the world. If they were my children, I would never buy them that stuff. But because my brother told me I wouldn't be successful, I said, screw it. You kids can have whatever the hell you want whenever you come down to Uncle Mark's house. So they flew down from Seattle. They visited me for a week, took them Disney VIP, took them shopping, went car shopping, uh, bought a Lamborghini with my nephew. So that's the kind of stuff that I love. That's my why. Uh, maybe it's kind of like selfish or bragging or whatever, like, because I finally made it, but that's what gets me excited. The fact that my first broker is now reaching back out to me to maybe get some business for me for a different business. And he was the rude one to me in front of everyone. And he wouldn't answer any of my questions. That feels good. So remember it comes full circle. If you're ever feeling down because someone told you you suck at something or someone said you'll never make it. Just remember that person in five years because your haters five years ago will become your biggest fans when you make it. So use that. That's what my why is. I like helping others. I want to achieve greatness through others because I feel that when you raise others up, you're for sure going to be right along with them. And and through that, there's no way but winning. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning into the Mark Patterson Show today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please download so you can refer back. If you like this content and want to continue receiving real estate education for free, head over to your computer, scroll all the way down to the section after the episodes on the podcast and select the five stars. If you're willing to commit to transforming your business, please visit my website, markpattisonrealestate.com. We've created a community of real estate professionals where we give back and share tips on how to succeed. Visit markpattisonrealestate.com. And remember, if you're not fucking up, then you're not trying.